years. Wes, we're going to start with you at Verizon. Two to three years from now, what's the demand signal going to be from our customers? Where is Verizon going to be in regards to implementing this zero trust architecture? Well, we hope in two to three years, everyone's on 5G, right? But that's uh, that's probably not realistic. 5G? I'm, I'm thinking 6G. 5G <laughs> yeah, 6G, is 1997. <laughs> um, but yeah, the next two to three years, right? We, we just see a kind of accelerated period of adoption. And really, like, it's the workforce to impact and the user experience that where we really kind of see a vision of where security becomes less invasive, where it kind of vanishes to the end user. Right, and we talked about SASE. We talked about the cloud native security stacks that people are moving to, to where people are no longer tethered into the network, and security kind of follows them around like a like a cocoon, right? Um, and it doesn't matter if they're connected over a four G, five G, you know, a wired connection. Um, so, in terms of zero trust, zero trust can act like a, the cocoon that will follow users around regardless of what type of connectivity that they have. And so we see the next two to three years, they're playing out that way. 